Hey guys, Mr. Babomer here coming to you with a tutorial on how to fix the Xbox profile downloading error 8007045D. Um, so basically what happened to me is, and I, I'm not exactly sure what causes this error, but um, what happened to me was I was playing a game and the game froze on me, so I turned my Xbox 360 off and then on again. And uh, when it came back on, my profile was just completely absent from my Xbox. All of my saves and everything were still there, but my profile was gone. So obviously I was freaking out, and um, the first thing I tried to do was download the profile back onto the Xbox, and that is when it will give you a, a um, error code and say, downloading profile is currently unavailable, like try again later or something like that. And uh, basically, I had no idea what to do. So I contacted Microsoft Support, and I was probably on the phone with these guys for at least two hours. And they were giving me all of these um, things to try to fix it, like clearing the system cache and then restarting the system, or clearing the system cache three times. And basically, nothing was working. And after two hours of talking to Microsoft, they basically told me, we have absolutely no idea what's going on. I'm sorry we couldn't help you. So I was really mad. And But all I could do was um, what uh, tutorials online were telling me to do, and that was just get a new hard drive, because I couldn't find a single video telling me how to fix this. Uh, all of it was just how to fix corrupted profiles, but this, this isn't the case. This isn't just a corrupted profile. Like, my profile wasn't even on the Xbox to delete and then re-download re or clear the system cache or whatever. But this wasn't the case, like I said, because all of my files were still on the hard drive. They were just under um, unknown profile instead of my gamer tag. So, obviously what I was going to try to do next was what the tutorials were saying, which was either basically make a new profile altogether or get a new hard drive. So I felt like those were my only two options, and thankfully my friend Dean had given me an extra hard drive. The only problem was the hard drive I was using originally was a 120 gig, and the other one that I had was only a 20 gig. So I probably played on this 20 gig hard drive for like three months, um, and I couldn't have all my content, like I couldn't play Grand Theft Auto V or anything because all that was on the old hard drive. But... um little did I know I would look up a video of someone else who was having this, a similar problem It was like a help video and I found the answer in the comments yes that's right in the comments I couldn't I couldn't even find a video that was telling how to fix this problem it was just someone posting a video that was like help I'm having this problem I need help and I looked in the comments and there was a guy that had the solution in there and it helped I don't I can't remember the guy's name but whoever you are thank you so much but um Anyways, basically what you're going to need for this is um, a flash drive. It doesn't really matter because profiles don't even usually t typically take over a single gigabyte. So you're just going to need a flash drive and the original hard drive in the Xbox. And basically what you're going to want to do is put the old hard drive in the Xbox and then put the flash drive in the Xbox at the same time. And if if you've been experiencing this uh, error code for a while, then you already know basically what happens. You try to download it. It'll start downloading and then say, profiles can't be downloaded at this time. Please try again later. And basically all you're going to want to do is go to download profile, and then you put in your email address and password for the profile you're trying to download. And if you have uh, the flash drive in there, it should pull up a box that says... Uh, if you want to download it to the hard drive or to the flash drive, you're going to want to click flash drive and it will download the profile onto the flash drive and you shouldn't have any problems there. And basically what this fixes is that the profile isn't going on the hard drive. Um, I'm not, as of right now, I'm not sure, but I'm almost positive that there's no way to get the profile back on the hard drive itself. But as long as it's on this flash drive, you should be able to keep playing on your profile while you still have access to all the content on the hard drive. And basically the only problem that I've run into with this method is that there's an unusually long startup. It's not too much longer than it normally would be, at the most probably about a minute. 
basically what happens is you turn your Xbox on and it'll have the logo and then Xbox 360 and it'll just stay there for a little bit longer than normal but it's definitely worth it to be able to have access to all of your content that was on your hard drive and so yeah guys I hope this helped you and until next time this is Mr. Bobomber signing out